So generative AI will be a revolution. Today, everyone and the headlines are focusing on its technical limitations and on productivity gains. But tomorrow, it will be a product and business model innovation. And this is why generative AI in such a haha moment is a CEO question. And the CEOs need to think about it as if all their employees, not an elite, all their employees had read everything and had an infinite memory. That sometimes, of course, can become a source of hallucination. Memory is not reliable. So generative AI is like nitroglycerin. It's extremely powerful, but needs to get handled cautiously. And this is why CEOs need to think about three things. The first one is to generate responsible AI, policies and mitigation strategies dedicated to generative AI. Second is to grasp the full potential of generative AI by identifying and implementing the use cases that will become a source of competitive advantage. Find these golden use cases by experimenting to fully understand the depths of generative AI. Third, also use these experiments to understand how generative AI will impact people in your organization. Use this knowledge to redefine operating models and organizational blueprints. But during the risk redefinition, take extra care of the professional identity of your employees through change management. Do not underestimate how much their professional identity will be impacted by generative AI.